Hi everyone, this is a installation guide and sort of brief overview of a bipod system um, by Spartan Precision Equipment and this is the Javelin bipod, standard length. Uh, this thing just oozes quality straight away, even the box it comes in. So this is what you get, bipod itself, uh, various different uh, fixing uh, bolts, universal adapter and these shims depending on what style stock you have. They do have uh, adapters as well. Um, they also do uh, other lengths. This one like I say is the standard one, 6.5 or 9.5 inches extended and it weighs 149 grams there is literally nothing to it it's carbon fiber uh, it's got uh, aluminum or aluminium as I should say aluminum aluminum for you guys in America uh, aircraft grade uh, aluminium and uh, magnets rare earth magnets uh, there's some inside there as you can see it's one there one there, which holds it together, and then another one there on the other side. There's only one leg that actually moves. Uh, the long one, they do the long one in 8.5 to 13 inches, uh, and that's 159 grams, and it's the same price. It's uh, corrosion resistant, it's made with a hard black uh, anodizing. Um, they do a lot of accessories uh, with this as well. Uh, they do a long leg accessory for it. You can uh, unwind these legs and uh, wind in longer ones. Uh, they also do uh, lots of uh, holders for it, a little pouch so you can just pop it in your belt. Uh, holders for a uh, sling so you can fit the sling to the rifle. Pop the bipod in the sling and it all clips into the sling. They also do a tripod which looks very good for this. Um, gives it a real good solid platform uh, for if you're out hunting. Um, and then there's lots of different adapters to fit it to your rifle. This is the standard one. They do uh, a gunsmith one, which is recessed in uh, to the actual uh, uh, furniture. Um, so all you see is just the, the little sort of stud part sticking out. Uh, and they do a Picatinny rail one as well. Okay, so let's have a look and see how easy this thing is to fit. So the way it works is you unwind your sling stud. stud. This is the Allen key it came with. I'm going to leave that one on the back there um, for an option for a sling. But it does actually, with the universal mount, it does actually come with uh, a sling attachment. So you unwind this, and the idea is you match it up with whatever screws come in the kit. So this is what's come out. Oh, it looks pretty close. There's another one as well that looks more or less the same. I have to try those. That's a coarse one, so we won't be using that. So let's try. Let's try this one first. Just see how it matches up. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Just out of a matter of interest, I will we try this one just to see. Not as smooth as the other one. So, uh, I'm just going to use the uh, the flat shim that comes with it. If that's the right word. There's the uh, adapter for the sling, so it needs to be fitted that way around. So, pop it on there. Offer it up to the rifle. Line it up inside. It all looks good. Drop in the bolt. It's probably a lot easier doing this two handed, but hey ho, there we go. This is how easy it is to install. You can do it one handed whilst filming. Well, I'll say that once it's actually on the rifle. So I'm mounting this to my um, Browning A bolt uh, in 308, which I plan to shoot tomorrow and try it out. So that's pretty much it, it's there.
easy as that. So, I'll pop these back in the box. I'm going to use those. And the key, I'm going to keep my stud going as well. Okay, so, now the way this works. <coughs> it attaches with this magnet. There we are. That is now attached to the rifle. It's easy as that. When I'm not shooting it, just pull it off, stay the bipod. And when I want to shoot it, on it goes. So, you've got um, an arc of fire with it. It is machined out inside here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it properly. And there's a little uh, indent on there. That's what gives you that arc of fire. It only lets it turn. Um, there, you can see it on this side here. It only lets it turn. There we go. There's your arc of fire. Legs. Let's pull this one up. Pull it out. Twist it. That's it. Locked in. Um, these rubber feet are quite good. They feel quite good. But if you're on a different type of surface, hard surface like stone or ice, there's a titanium tip there to dig into with. There we are. As simple as that. Fantastic bit of kit. It oozes quality, it really does. This thing has been engineered so well. Oh, one other thing as well, hit this, you can uh, tighten this all up on the front. So, once you've got it on, uh, if you uh, notice it's quite sloppy, so you can just tighten all that up. Take all of that slop out of it now. It's a lot more tighter. Just gives it a bit more resistance. There we have it. Spartan Precision Javelin Biopod. Excellent bit of kit. Bye for now. Oh, like and subscribe. Please do.